Hey guys, welcome back to Jay's Car Channel. I'm actually going to be doing an engine bay detail on this 2011 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. So I'm going to show you guys the tools, processes, and procedures I'm going to use. Pop this hood. So here she is. 4.6 liter modular V8. It's probably never been cleaned in 11 years. It's a lot of dust and dirt. It needs a lot of help, but we're going to get it done today. This thing looking right. So uh, I'll take you guys through kind of what I've got. So the first thing I'm going to be using is this five and a half horsepower shop vac with a brush attachment to vacuum up all the dust and dirt off of here that I can get off before I pressure rinse it because I don't want that turning into mud, which is essentially what it will do if I don't do anything to get it off. So I'm gonna do that first. I've got my bucket here with a variety of brushes and tools. Got a fender brush here. I've got a couple of wheel woolies, a small one and a big one. I've got a Viking uh, wheel brush. It's a little soft bristle wheel brush. I've got a Adams wheel brush and I've got a trim and lug nut brush and I've got a microfiber, a Clean Green Monster microfiber. So lastly, I've got my AR Blue Clean 1900 PSI electric pressure washer. I've got an MTM snub nose pistol grip handle with a 40 degree tip. It's got a wide fan, that's what you want to use on engine bays. You don't want a concentrated stream. Let's get started with the cleaning process. So here we go with the vacuum process. Typically I would just rinse the engine bay, but this engine bay is so dirty I'm going to hit it with all-purpose cleaner first. So this is the pressure rinse step. Notice I've got electronics covered with plastic bags. spray some all-purpose cleaner into the Adams wheel brush and start scrubbing all the areas I can get to with that brush.
So now I'm gonna take a big wheel woolly and spray that down with some all-purpose cleaner and get down into the sections I couldn't reach with the brush. So now I'm going to take a trim and lug nut brush, spray some all-purpose cleaner into the head of the brush, and get into all the intricate areas that I couldn't reach with the wheel woolly or the big wheel brush. Another area you want to hit is the underside of the hood, so I'm going to suck that down with small purpose cleaner. I'm not trying to scrub it, you're just lightly agitating. Get around the latch here, back to the bucket. Now I'm going to rinse that along with the engine bay. Now that I've gone through four steps here, vacuum, rinse, all-purpose clean, agitate, rinse again. Fifth step is going to be apply Motorplast by Coach Gimme. This product is awesome. It works so good, so let's, let's get on everything. Get it with some motor plastic. Here we go.